Hello, every hello everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizano. This is episode three hundred and thirteen of the world famous The University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call it online marketing moves. We are coming to you live today. Today is June the twenty second of twenty first, two thousand twenty one. At the time of this recording. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? Ladies and gentlemen, this will be a very short podcast today. We are going to talk about why you should focus on you and not worry about saturation, why you should not worry about being an upstart, why you should not worry about being a beginner, why you should not have any of these worries. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you last night I watched, first time in a long time, I watched a complete basketball game from the tip all the way to the fourth quarter i watched you you and i you and my favorite team the atlanta hawks pull off an upset the atlanta hawks beat the number one seeded philadelphia 76ers last night now the atlanta hawks nobody not many people would have gave them a chance if you would have told them hey man playoffs about to start where are the hawks going they would have said eh, first round second round maybe Nobody would have gave them a chance to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. You know, and the one thing that has surprised me the most about the Atlanta Hawks is in the past, they would win at home. Of course, they would look good at home. They would win, but they would lose every playoff road game. And I and I don't mean by two points, three points. They would lose every home game by 20, 30, and 40 points. You know, so you would, you would automatically think, okay, these guys are not going to win on the road, but this playoffs has been different. 2021 has been different. The, the Atlanta Hawks have won five games on the road. Five games. You know, five games on the road. Let's see, they played a total of 12 games. They've won eight. They lost four. And five of them they have won at home. I mean, on the road, which is a little difficult to do sometimes, especially in the NBA. But it got me to thinking about all of us, you know, it got me to thinking it doesn't matter. Sometimes, you know, I read a book about this. I read this book called the blue ocean strategy, you know, and it's a good book. It's a great book. You know, it it makes good points. It makes very good points. And it talks about, you know, going from one niche to doing a sub niche. And that's great and everything. But, you know, sometimes, even the sub niche sometimes is kind of kind of jam packed, but if you really believe in your product, if you really believe in what you're doing, then you should probably not probably you should definitely go for it. Why not? I listened to this podcast, How I Built This, and it was about the RX energy bar, and there's a lot of energy bars, and this guy was like, "Yeah, but." I felt like I had a great product and I tailored tailored it to some group. I think keto, keto diet people maybe. But the point is the market was very saturated with, you know, protein bars, protein shakes, whatever. But he went on ahead and they wound up making millions of dollars. Now, I'll tell you this because. You know, a lot of people are going to say, oh, affiliate marketing, this one, that one, things on the Internet, it's filling up. You know, what what are you going to do? You know, there's, you know, singing songs. There's a lot of people doing that, all this, all this kind of stuff. But you believe in your product, you believe in yourself, then go for it. Do not wait. Do not think, oh, I can't do this because so and so told me, you know, I just thought about it's there's so many examples of, you know, people. (laughs) <laughs> it's so many people have, so many examples of people going above and beyond what they're supposed with a capable of above and just doing it you know and a lot of people not giving them a chance you know and it's just a, another example are the atlanta hawks because i want to you know i mean me and my friends call them been talking to each other quite a bit these days because i'm like hey man the hawks can really go to the finals and he's like you know what i believe that and i'm like yeah i really believe that this is their year you know like and we talked about this last week i think talked about sometimes you can't think all oh, next year i'll do this no you know now might be the time for you to win the championship now might be the time for you to go for the gusto you know and don't worry about sometimes 
you know, it's all great. Yeah, the market saturated this one, that one. You know, there's a lot of people on YouTube. You know, hey, this concert's my cousin. There's a lot of people on YouTube. Yeah, there's a lot of people on YouTube, but there's always room for you. There's always room for you, and it just it, it's just more about your approach. It's more about what you're gonna do. It's more about the you know effort you put in, the consistency. It's 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 more about you than anything else. You know, yeah, the yeah, it's full of people. Everybody has a podcast. You know, everybody has a YouTube channel, but. How are you going to stand out? What are you going to do? Are you going to be consistent? You know, take it from me. I, you know, do the podcast every day. We have no promotion. We have no, you know, no big name. No, no, nothing. People still download, you know. It's slow, but guess what? It's a labor of love and it's going to pay off. I know this. You know this, you know, because you listen. And for you, it's the same thing, you know, right produce i mean write do podcasts do videos do do if you want to do you know whatever kind of information you want to provide for people do that and don't worry about it you know if you want to be a singer you want to be a dancer whatever you want to do whatever you want to be you know be that but you can't worry about the outside noise you can't worry about naysayers you can't think oh i'm the number six seed of life and i'm facing the number three seed i'm gonna lose no you can't think like that you have to think that you are the best and no matter what you do you know i tell you every every time you listen to this podcast i say what the best podcast in one two three gals and we've talked about this before and it's, i believe that with all my heart you know i believe it and it's true and, and for you it's the same thing you can't you can't get nervous. You can't get afraid of the of the limelight, the spotlight. You know, there's gonna be a lot of people. Once you, I listened to this guy today, and he said something very fun and very, very, you know, very pointed. He said, <clears throat> he said, "Hey man, I got into the wrestling business because I loved it, and I didn't think about the fame or anything like that until about three weeks." And he said, three weeks, about three weeks into it, he was like, "Oh." People are going to know me. And he's like, I didn't think about the money. I didn't think about any of that. I just thought I love the wrestling business so much. I want to be a part of it. And then he said, after a while, he thought about the fame. And sometimes, like I saw this interview with Mike Tyson. He said he wanted to be famous. And it's like, why do you want to be famous, you know? And, yeah, Mike Tyson is very polarizing. And I have a lot of respect for Mike Tyson. But sometimes that's not, like, the best, you know, entryway into anything like you know why do you want to be famous like yeah we know we we all know why people want to be famous because there's a there's a power there's money there's a lot of things that come with fame but sometimes there's a price you know and i heard about this documentary about you know uh this wrestler named china and china only she, her, she wanted to be in the wrestling business because she just wanted to be famous and you know they made her into a great you know, character in the wrestling world, but then she wanted to be the biggest, the most paid wrestler. And it's like, uh, no, we're not going to pay that. So they, they let it go. And then, you know, she learned, I guess she, maybe she didn't learn, but she kind of petered out in the outside world because, you know, wrestling is a very niche you know, audience. Wrestling is a very, you know, unique audience. So, you know, some people are not going to relate. And a lot of people think wrestling is just fake and phony. So, you know, to the outside world, you might, you know, it not be seen as legit, seen as real, you know. Everybody's not Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So, you know, but for you, you know, I will say this. Don't don't have any hesitation about markets and sometimes you just have to throw like strategy is good strategy is great we all need it but sometimes <coughs> god bless you thank you sometimes you just have to go for it sometimes it doesn't sometimes through all the strategy through all the 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 the, the, the things out of the window and you're like you know what it's me. And why am I going to make it? Because I'm me. And that's it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like I watched the Hawks and this guy, this, this guy was three for 20. And he was, I was baffled why he kept shooting the ball. 
but he can't shoot. And I said, you know what? I got to respect this SOB because this SOB has confidence. You know what I mean? Like he missed every shot in the first half. Like it, he was one for 14 or something like that. And I remember he pulled up from 29 feet and he launched a three pointer at the, in the fourth quarter and he made it. And I was like, this guy has onions. Like it's amazing. And it's sort of like the guy that doesn't know a whole lot. And he's like, Hey, I'm going to start a business. And then, you're like, how are you going to start a business? You don't know anything about business. Hey, I'm going to put my left foot in front of my right foot, and we're going to get to going, and that's it. And you'll learn along the way, you know. The most important thing is it doesn't matter about the saturation. It doesn't matter about what you want to do. Sometimes it just matters. It's just you. Like, what are you going to do? Who are you? Do you have the confidence? or Do, do you know that you can do it? You know, and it doesn't matter, you know, Sam Walton went, went, went up against people, you know, Kmart's and the J.C. Penney's, and he came out just fine. You know, Walt Disney, he was like, hey, I'm going to start a, this. Uh, I'm going to start a Disney World. And, you know, it worked out for him. He didn't know anything about amusement parks. And there's a lot of examples we can go into, you know. Steve Jobs, he had this interview and he was like, hey, one day there's going to be, you know, like a little device in your pocket. And, you know, boom, before you know it. Hey, there's the iPhone. And these are just, you know, over the top. These are just the main, you know, we can go into, we can go into people in everyday life, you know. I can give you an example of my wife. My wife, one day, some, she was working at this, she's working at these, at the, um, the Young Chefs Academy. And one day, the owner at the time was like, you think, do you think you want to own this? And my wife, she never owned a business before. And she said, you know what? Yes. And my wife learned on the fly. She learned a lot. She made mistakes, but now she's thriving. She's one of the best, you know, not just because I'm married to the woman, but she's really like focused and driven. And it's very, it, I admire that a lot. And it gives me inspiration. And it's just like, wow. And it's like, you know, you see this all the time. My friend, he same way. He's, he was like, I didn't know anything. I just, you know, started and i say hey i'm either gonna make it or i ain't and one of the two and he made it and it's just like that for all of us and it's like you know sometimes you want you're gonna get frustrated and all that kind of stuff but it doesn't matter but at the end of the day it's you it doesn't matter where you think you might rank in life and all that kind of stuff but it's like hey i am the best of the best and i'm going to show you that i'm not i don't even have to show anybody show yourself that you are the best of the best you know so ladies and gentlemen that's it for the podcast today We'll be back tomorrow with an all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. Remember, it doesn't matter what seed you are in life, ladies and gentlemen, kick ass and take names. All right. But until next time, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. And as always, everybody, peace. <laughs>